and welcome to Now We're Cooking in Carol's Kitchen. Tonight I am making Keto's Italian Meatballs. And the only difference is I'm using the same ingredients that I have in my regular meatballs except my breadcrumbs I made myself because I couldn't find any low-carb breadcrumbs in any of the stores. So I bought the low-carb bread, I put six slices in my oven at 400 for about 15, 20 minutes until they dried out. And then I was able to put them in my food processor and then I got breadcrumbs. So as simple as that. So, so let's get started. Here I have one pound of ground veal, two pounds of ground beef, one pound of pork, and then I've got Italian sausage. We, we have um, hot sausage and we got the um, the uh, mild sausage. So I'm using hot sausage because it gives a little kick to the uh, meatballs. So what I'm going to do is I got, went in and took the skin off, but I just want to show you how easy this is to take the skin off. Just, you just give it a nice squeeze and this meat comes right out of the skin. And I went ahead and did these earlier. Okay, so now we have five pounds of the meat in my bowl. So with my hands, with, I took my rings off. Um, that's the thing that's going to contact um, any bacteria. Okay. Then my other ingredients would be three eggs. I would have him broke up and scrambled. Then I've got a half a cup of milk to go with the breadcrumbs. So I'm putting them in together. I've got three tablespoons of fresh parsley and um, oregano. And then I've got um, two tablespoons of basil. So I'm gonna pour those in here. I've got half a cup of Parmesan cheese, two tablespoons of minced garlic, two tablespoons of Italian seasoning, and two tablespoons of, this is pepper, garlic, and salt. Now we have all that in there. Again, I'm from the old school. I like getting my hands in here and just messing it all up. And this way I kind of like, I feel, I can feel the meat and spices and breadcrumb and the eggs, you know, they're like celebrating a wedding in here. They're all getting married together. So we're gonna cook the meatballs in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes. And I like making a lot of meatballs because we freeze them. And I make different sizes of my meatballs. I make the little small meatballs because Joe likes my homemade Italian wedding soup. And then I make um, meatballs about an inch in size. And that would be for we have sub, um, Italian meatball subs for dinner. And of course I make the bigger size, the grande size like this, for our spaghetti and the sauce with meatballs. Because the meatballs are actually the show of dinner. Okay, this is all incorporated. And you can see right here how it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands. Then I'm going to show you how I do each one of these. Then we're going to stick them in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes. So I'll just take, so. Just like that. And I'll get as many as I can on here and 
it's okay if you crowd them because they're gonna shrink up some anyways. So it's not like they're gonna, you know, rise and touch each other like um, yeast bread does. Now you can see I got all my meat, meats rolled into meatballs now. And I've got the large, medium, and small. Again, this is gonna be for my uh, Italian wedding soup. This is for like meatball subs. And then of course this is for the pasta sauce. That's gonna be um, wonderful once I get the sauce made. Uh, so now I'm gonna put this in the oven. for those. The medium I may cut inside the um, time down to about 20-25 minutes, but I will check on them also. And then also the um, little meatballs will only take about 10 minutes to cook. I just canceled my timer. It just went off. I had it going for 25 minutes. Um, I What I did is I put all three, since I have convection oven, all three at the same time, but different times. When I had 20 minutes left, I put the medium size in. And then when I had 15 minutes left, I put the small meatballs in. So another gadget that I think every kitchen should have one of these. Um, it was a gift to my mom. And it's so easy to help you pull out your tray. How beautiful. The meatballs are out of the oven now, and you can see this is the small, the medium, and of course the large. And I'm going to, oh, also too, you want to touch it up with some Parmesan cheese, which makes it even a little better with the little um, savory taste of the cheese on top with the salt. And then I also put a little bit of parsley on top too for decoration. And which one do I want to try? Mm. Well, I won't make a pig out of myself. I'm, let me try this one right here. Mm. This is good. You can see it's all cooked throughout. The flavor of the Italian sausage in it really adds like a little kick to it. Mm. Life doesn't get any better than this. Thank you for joining, until next time.